I wanted him to suffer the breakup like me. Oh, don't worry, he will. <laughs> he might have. That's why he jumped for two months later to get another one because... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what your relationships were, but why do you care if he suffers or not? You should be focused on the fact that you wouldn't be suffering. Not that, oh, he should be suffering too because I'm suffering. You know, there was a joke. I'm going to uh, throw that in and uh, listen carefully. One day God says to uh, Gabriel, says, Gabriel, go around the universe and uh, bring me a report what's happening in the places. So uh, Gabriel says, uh, you know, yes, God, or I don't know what they call each other, your, your highness or the holiness or whatever it is. Uh, Gabriel sets on course. Go on different planets in the universe and then long time later which is in a jiffy pretty much in their time span comes back to God says God I got it says okay got it come here okay let's have tea I bring tea and everybody brings tea and <laughs> they start <laughs> God happened to be Persian so they like to have tea <laughs> So Gabriel says, well, I went to different planets and different star systems and all that. But uh, then I went to another star system, the whatever it is, our star system, I forgot where the sun is. So they said, and I checked uh, many planets and then I checked a planet called Earth. It was interesting. Uh, God said, oh, what was interesting? We said, well, you know, I, in, on Earth, I tried different countries and I went to a country and they were speaking French. And so it was France. And they, I heard uh, the man praying uh, before sleeping says, God, please, please, my neighbor has uh, 10 horses and five sheep. I have one sheep and two horses. Please give me a few more horses and few more sheep so I can also survive. And he says, I went to uh, Germany and I saw, a, you know, a man uh, in his farm and praying, says, uh, God, um, I have, uh, you know, 10 horses and 20 sheep and uh, my neighbor has 100 sheep and 500 horses. Could you please give me another 50 horses and 20 sheep so I can make this year a little bit more successful. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, feel and dunk <laughs> because, you know, I wanted to be really, you know, connect to God. <laughs> Spoke German too. So, and it says, but then I went to each country, Japan, and they were praying the same way to please, you know, my neighbor has so much land and so much crop was good and so much, uh, so many, you know, horses and uh, cows and I have no cows. Would you kindly please give me 20 cows so I can also have milk and give it to the you know uh, local stores and make money so every one of them he says until i went to a country called iran and i heard the guy says uh, god uh, m you know my neighbor has you know 55 horses and 150 cows and uh, and 200 sheep and uh, uh, all my sheep have died uh, my cows are you know uh, on disease and they're dying and the horses are no longer good would you please kill a bunch of his too so he'll also be as miserable as I <laughs> That's a cultural thing. He says everybody was hoping to have something more. And this one in Iran was wishing that his neighbor who's got more stuff also be reduced to what his level of, of stuff was. So that is the mentality differences. So uh, the moral of the story is that you are focusing on giving suffering to the other one instead of focusing on you not suffering. And that is pretty much the same as the story as Gabriel was telling his God. So I ask you to focus on building building your life and advancing forward, moving forward. And don't worry about what that guy is doing or how he's not suffering and all that. Focus on tearing the suffering away from yourself and moving forward and opening new roads and finding new opportunities and bringing happiness to yourself rather than wishing somebody else to suffer just perhaps like you are. That was the moral of the story. And now we go on to...